Hello, welcome to this project series in machine learning presented by EDU Onyx. Machine learning is rapidly being adopted across the globe. As a result, EDU Onyx is presenting an additional five projects that cover some of the most interesting areas, applications, and techniques in machine learning today. My name is Brendan, and I will be the instructor for each of these five projects. Our first project is classifying DNA sequences using several different machine learning approaches. During this project, we will explore the world of bioinformatics by using Markov models, key nearest neighbor algorithms, support vector machines, and other algorithms to classify E. coli DNA sequences. This project will use a data set from the UCI machine learning repository that has 106 DNA sequences with 57 sequential nucleotides each. Our second project, is going to be obtaining near state-of-the-art performance on 10 object recognition tasks using deep learning. Using the CIFR 10 object recognition data set as a benchmark, we will implement a recently published deep neural network that can obtain similar results to state-of-the-art networks despite having less parameters and smaller computational requirements. In our third project, we are going to be looking at image super resolution with the SRCNN network. In this tutorial, we will implement and use a TensorFlow version of the super resolution convolutional neural network, SRCNN, to improve the image quality of degraded images. In our fourth project, we are going to be getting started with natural language processing in Python. This tutorial will cover the basics of natural language processing methodology, including tokenizing words and sentences, part of speech identification and tag and phrase chunking. After this project, you will have the necessary foundation to begin building and deploying machine learning algorithms for natural language processing. Fortunately, that is exactly what we are going to do in the fifth and final project. This is going to be looking at using natural language processing for text classification. Building on the foundation developed in the previous project, this tutorial will dive deeper into natural language processing. We will solve a text classification task using multiple classification algorithms, including a naive Bayes classifier, an SGD classifier, and a linear support vector classifier. All of these projects, as in the past, are going to be implemented in Python, although we may look at using several different IDEs, including Jupyter Notebooks and the PyCharm IDE. Um, as always, uh, some of these projects are going to be fairly complicated aspects of machine learning and programming in general. As a result, it is recommended that you have some experience in Python. However, if you're just beginning, don't worry, I will be walking you through each and every step involved in all of these projects so that you can build the foundation in Python and machine learning that you need to apply these techniques to your own problems. I hope you enjoy the course. I am enjoying making the projects and learning them along with you. So let's go ahead and get started.